everyone, my name is Birdie and I am your friendly neighborhood forest twitch. And in today's video, I'm going to be setting up a Father's Day tablescape. Now, normally when I do my tablescapes, I get my inspiration from Pinterest, Instagram, Google, etc. But this time it all came from here. Now, when I was thinking about this tablescape, I knew I wanted to use the color black and wood tones. So it took me a while to figure things out, tweak some things until I got it just right. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the items that I will be using and let you know where I got them from and anything that I can link down below for you, I definitely will. Now, if you're not interested in seeing where the items came from and you just wanna see the final reveal, I will put a timestamp in the description down below so you can just go ahead and fast forward. So without further ado, let's jump into this haul. Now, if I had to describe the aesthetic of this tablescape, I would say it's a mixture between a black tie event and a lumberjack. Now, I know those two mesh together sounds crazy, but I promise it turns out really pretty in the end. So let me go ahead and show you the things with the lumberjack aesthetic. First off is this wooden tray, and I actually found mine at Goodwill, but I know places like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and Walmart have things similar to this. So this I'll be using as a centerpiece. And then next up are my faux wooden plates that I got from Hobby Lobby. I believe it was last fall. This was part of their fall line. And even though they're plastic, it's, it's a really heavy duty plastic. So I really like these. And then for the tablecloth, I'm going with this black and white checkered and it kind of reminds me of a lumberjack shirt. So I'll be using that. And then also for the centerpiece, I have this beautiful ceramic deer head that I had picked up last year. I believe I got this from at home. I'll have to go back and check my Yule hauls last year, but this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And I thought it gives off that lumberjack vibe as well. And then the next item is probably a mesh between the lumberjack vibe and the black tie vibe, but it's the napkin rings. And I had used these, I believe in my Yule tablescape last year, but I thought they would fit really nice with this one as well. Of course, because it has the deer head to match our centerpiece, but also because they're gold. So I picked up these really beautiful napkins from Amazon. It's a pack of eight, and I believe I got them for $13 and something, but they're really pretty. They have that really pretty design on them. It's subtle, but beautiful. So I thought those would match really well. And then as far as the chargers, I'm going to be using these beautiful black ones with the gold embellishment. Now these I had found at the Christmas tree shop during Halloween. And if you can't find them this time of year, I know Amazon also has one similar to this. So I will link them down in the description. And then as far as silverware goes, I love using gold silverware and normally I just pick up plastic ones since I don't have the gold tone metal, but I finally found a whole set. It's a 30 piece set and it's stainless steel on Amazon for only $19.99. That is a great deal, so I'll link it down below, but it comes with your two sized forks, your two sized spoons, and then your knife. So absolutely love that. 
And then I'll also be using these little black tea light candle holders from Dollar Tree. I had gotten these, I believe it was a few months ago, but I just love the gold accent at the top there. And I thought that would tie in nicely. And then as far as drinkware, I'll be using these beautiful glasses I had gotten from Hobby Lobby last year. They got the gold accent and they're also monogrammed. I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby still has these. Definitely check your store because if it's not online, it might still be in the store. But I absolutely love these glasses and I've used them a couple times in my tablescapes. And then last but not least, I always love using fresh flowers and fresh greenery in my tablescapes. And this time, since I didn't want to make it too feminine of a tablescape since it is for Father's Day, I'm going to go with this beautiful eucalyptus that I picked up from Trader Joe's. So that is everything that I'll be using for this tablescape. So now let's go ahead and set it up.
I hope you all enjoyed this video and maybe got some inspiration for your Father's Day tablescape. I had a lot of fun working on this and tweaking things to make it the perfect vision that I had in my head. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks friends, bye.